Yeah, where my non-secular dudes at? I need for my non-secular dude to smash that like button to get this shit out there. So that other non-secular dudes are able to get this message. Because my message is really for the non-secular dudes. How do you know if you're a non-secular dude? You don't partake in anything that is of this world. You're not worried about the latest fashion. You're not worried about the latest dance steps, the latest sayings, the latest musical groups, the latest movies. I'm not, I realize I'm not going to attract pickup artists or former pickup artists. I'm not interested in no old school players, what their message is. I don't want no niggas who used to be old school players fucking around on my platform. Um, I really don't want cats like incels that are complaining about women because they can't get them. If it looks like I'm complaining about women, it's because I'm utterly disgusted and disappointed with them. When I was about 30 years old, I concluded that a woman is only good for sexual gratification. And now that I'm 45, sexual gratification just is not at the forefront of my mind. It's just not... It just sexual gratification is not something that I'm out here working for, living for, or really feel that I need in my life. I don't feel like I need that. So I'm even more disappointed now. Okay, I'll just have to go ahead and say it if it if I have to. My sex game ain't like it was when I was okay. Take the longest athletic life in any professional sport probably I would think would be you could say golf or bowling probably you could do them into your old age longest but I mean the 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 sports that count you could say baseball you got from ages 22 to 34 now I remember when Chipper Jones if you don't know who he is Atlanta Braves Hall of Fame second baseman short no shortstop third baseman outfielder when he came up, he got drafted at 18. He came up, he was about 21, 22 years old. I remember seeing him in spring training, seeing him hit home runs, seeing him steal bases and stuff like that. When it was towards the end of his career, he wasn't stealing bases and shit like that no more. Getting old. What I'm saying is, you don't have your peak performance sexually at 45 years old. You don't. So, it's like, I need a female to offer me more than just sex because I'm not in a position to give you sex to where you're going to fall in love with me, not at age 45, especially when you're close to ages in me. No, I remember uh, being in the YMCA in the steam room and just so happens this nice looking, light skinned, intelligent black woman came in very attractive and she was a sociology professor at Temple and we talked and we talked and we talked. But I didn't feel no sexual tension. And I'm like, damn. Now, here's somebody that I could talk to. Now, at the time, I was 40. So, you know, getting up there. So, um, I'm thinking, damn, I can't do anything with her. Because I, I don't have, I don't feel the tension to want to sleep with her. So, I didn't take it any further. In that same YMCA, a couple weeks later, I'm in there laying down with my back, with my back facing up. I got, I didn't, they weren't Speedos, but they were some little ass swimming trunks. They were small. They were small swimming trunks. They weren't Speedos, but they were little. Well, anyway, I started, I looked at her and, and she was a nice body, non-black woman, white girl, nice looking, about 25 years old. So I looked over at her, closed my eyes, started looking back up under, started, you know, acting like I was, you know, sunbathing. I felt the blood rush to a certain area. Next thing I know, she was talking to me. And, you know, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Sex is always better with a younger woman. I remember when I was 25, I liked 25-year-olds. When I was 35, I liked 25-year-olds. Now that I'm 45, I still like 25-year-olds. And I've come to the conclusion that if I'm going to get sexual relations from a young, attractive girl, it is going to be a non-black woman. It is. And another case, I remember I got into it with a parking attendant. 
and ended up, this is exactly what happened. She went to go put my information in to give me a ticket, and I tried to grab the machine. And when I grabbed the machine, she pulled her hand away and hit herself in the face, told the police that I hit her. I ended up getting arrested for that. Um, and when I had to go to court, my public defender was a Caucasian female. The prosecuting attorney was a Caucasian female that I just happened to know because she lived in the building where I did security. So she knew my face. She, she pretended that she wasn't the girl because I asked her and she didn't want me to know, but she was the same girl. And the public defender was a white female. And I remember just looking at the white girl defending me against three black females. It was the parking attendant herself. She brought her mother and her aunt. And they were trying to get everything happening to me, trying to get my security license taken, trying to get me thrown in, in jail, just pulling up all types of shit, trying to just get me nailed, him to the coffin. And them white chicks defended me, man. It was it was such a surreal thing. It, that lets me know that black women, the state of black women, they are truly fucked up. And they are truly vehicles for white supremacy. They truly are. You're not going to get me to, you're not going to convince me of anything other than that. Because I saw it with my own eyes. And then after I beat the case, it, they had it set up to where I didn't even have to go report to probation or anything. I, did, I just had to call the probation office one time, let them know what the deal was, and that was it. Three months after that, I was released from probation, didn't have any papers, didn't pay. I did have to pay a small fine, you know, they get you with that. But it didn't show up on my record or anything like that. Anything like that. So, yeah, I'm disappointed that these 45-year-old women can't offer me anything but sex. That's all women. But the thing is, I don't want sex from a 45-year-old woman when I can get it from a 25-year-old woman. You know, I'm at a position now where, you know, in the next few months or so, um, I'll be set up in a new place and I'm going to be inviting chicks over just to talk, man. Now, this is where it gets slippery. I can't get the same kind of conversation from a 25-year-old that I can get from a 45-year-old. But I'm not going to get the same type of instant sexual gratification looking at a 25-year-old. I mean, looking at a 45-year-old naked and looking at a 25-year-old naked. I already know which one I'm going to like more. But when it comes to talking, you got age as being a factor and cultural differences. Like if I'm talking to a black female, 25 years old, she know good times because her mom might have introduced her to it, but she don't know good times. Like I know good times, but she still knows good times. The white girl, don't, the 25-year-old non-black woman, she could be white, she could be Asian, she could be Latino, anything but black, even biracial. I even say that I don't consider biracials black anymore. I just don't. So we're talking a non-black woman. We're talking a biracial woman. We're talking a Latin woman. We're talking a Asian woman and or white woman. Those are the non-blacks. Indians. I'm not really. I'm not too keen on them. But yeah, they they they're not black women. But that's what I'm saying. So none of them know good times at all. If they're young or if they're middle-aged or what, they don't think they know good times like that. So that takes away from the conversation we can have. You know, how much life experience does a 25-year-old have to where, you know, we can learn from each other. But still, it's about, you know, I invite you over to my house just to talk. I told you, it's not, no, I'll get you over there and try, no, I'm 45 years old. Sex is not something that runs through my veins like that. That's why I don't have no desire to be over there talking to certain cats about women as far as I guess it probably does come off that I want them to change but not even so much for me because I'm done with the women of this generation I don't want to reproduce these women aren't 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 wife material anyway they're only good for sex partners society promotes these women to be promiscuous to be whores to be overt with their sexual desires and not be reserved this is what society is pushing for and getting back to my non-secular dudes, they having a hard time out here with these women who want to throw them down and have sex with them after just meeting them. And on the internet with two or three boyfriends. That's that's why we ain't getting nowhere with these women. They shit. 
I remember telling a girl that, you know, I would like to be held. And as corny and as it may sound to some women or some younger dudes, and she, like, basically clowned me and, you know, accused me of being a bitch. And I'm like, wow, wow, okay, but, you know, you're still in your mid-40s with two kids and you don't turn me on like that, so...